Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. So we're going to be talking about the storms of life. How many knows that storms of life come and hit each and every one of us? Amen. At times, sometimes they keep us and they, they take us uh, off granted and we don't even expect them, but they just seem to happen. But I want to tell you that you can put your trust and your faith in the living God. You can trust him with everything that is within us. And uh, I think we want to start here in the scripture, uh, a very um, popular piece of scripture, but in the chapter of, of Mark chapter five, 4, and this is where Jesus quiets us to see. So let's just read the scripture and then we'll go before the Lord in prayer. It says, in the same day, when the even, eve was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude and took him, even as he was in the ship, there were also with him the other ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves of heat into the, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awake him, saying unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And when he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? That's good. And I'm here to tell you that the Lord will take, and just as he calmed the storms there on that sea that day, that, that storm that came up and it roused up just unexpectedly, yeah. the Lord was able to take and he's able to, the storm, to calm that storm. Yeah. And here we are. Uh, we've got probably some of the disciples that's here with Jesus and they're there and they've walked with him and everything and you would think that they would uh, I look at the scripture when it tells us that let us pass them to the other side yes. they already should have known that they were going to make it to the other side Jesus had already told them that they would want to go to the other side Amen. so uh, it doesn't matter what you face in life uh, what's going to happen, but the Lord will bring us through. Amen. And then in, in chapter 5 of the first verse, he tells us, and then there came, they, and then they came over to the other side of the sea in the country of Galar, Galar Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. Amen. Okay. Um, but we thank the Lord. He brought them through, just yeah. like he said he was going to, didn't he? Let's just go before the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can come boldly before the throne of grace, Lord, uh, where we can find grace in the time of need, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can just take and lift up our hearts before you, Lord, and you're there and you hear the cries of your people. And, Lord, I truly believe that you've given me a word, Lord, for this this people, for this place, for this, for this moment, for this time, God, Lord. Lord, and I know that there's some that are just facing battles within their lives. They're facing storms, fierce storms in their lives. And Lord, I pray that peace be still would be to them, God. And Lord, that you would calm those storms down within their lives. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. How many ways that the storms of life come in many yeah. different forms? Yeah. They come, uh, they can come in times of of, of sickness, maybe we go through times of sickness within our body. Uh, we go through storms of fear, worry, doubt. You know, that's what uh, here we have when they're in the boat there, they were there in the ship. They got fearful, wasn't they? Their eyes got off of Jesus. And when their eyes got off of Jesus and their eyes got on the circumstances and on the situation, um, then, then they became fearful, didn't they? They became fearful. They became doubtful. How many times did we get our eyes off of, off of Jesus? We get our eyes upon our circumstances, the situation that we're going through, the whatever it is that we're facing within our lives and, and the different things. And you wonder, God, how are you going to come through? 
But he is faithful. He is faithful. We can put our hope and our trust in him. Uh, I've been battling a couple storms of sickness within my body uh, just over the past few months. And I'm, I'm standing, trusting, and believing the Lord's bringing healing and restoration. And I'm seeing a little bit of it. And, uh, but you know what? There's days that i got to walk by faith and not by sight. There's days that I don't feel good. There's days that I just don't. Uh, my, my body is just worn out. And it's just weary. And it's just, uh, I just don't have no energy. But the Lord is, he's there. He's going to take care of me. I know that the Lord will, will take and supply my every need according to his riches and glory. As, as the pastor preached this morning. It doesn't matter what our need is. If it's a physical need, he can meet the physical. If it's a spiritual need, he'll meet the spiritual. If it's a financial need, he can meet a financial need. It doesn't matter what it is uh, that, that we face in life. I want to flip over to Isaiah 43. And I'm going to sit down and try to um, meet my, my need. I've been trying to behave myself, and that's... That's been hard for me to do because I like to be out and about and going and going 90 miles an hour and maybe the Lord's just trying to get me to sit down, <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and, and, and the rest and to relax. So I've had to learn to, to, uh, to do that and not put so much stress on my knee. And I really believe the Lord is doing the work and he's doing a miracle. I'm trusting him for a miracle. You know, I was praying and the Lord touched me a few months ago. And he touched me so well that I never had any knee problems for about three months. And then all of a sudden, then all these symptoms start coming back. And then it's very discouraging. And of course, then the devil, he goes and he whispers little thoughts in your ears. Well, that God of yours didn't really heal you, did he? That God of yours didn't really heal you. And I have to rebuke him and have to take authority over him. Yep. And I've got to come That's over. Right. How many knows that we have power over oh, every yeah. part of the enemy? Yeah. And then the only part of the the only part of the enemy that the power has over there is what you've given him. That's right. What yep. you've given him. Yep. But I have power over it. And uh, and he tries to put sickness upon me. He tries to put uh, just different things upon me. Yep. You know, just different things to get your mind off of the Lord. And he tries to get you, your, you to lose your focus, doesn't he? Um, he tells us in Isaiah 43, verses 1 and 2, it says, But thou, but now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. How many knows that we are the Lord's? Amen. Amen. We are the Lord's, and there's nothing that can happen without His permission. Amen. There's nothing that can happen. There's nothing that's going to happen uh, that that God's not going to bring us through. If He brings us through something, and we we have to face a storm and a trial in our life, He'll bring us through it. He'll bring us through it faithfully. He'll bring us through it. It may not be how you want to go through it, but maybe the Lord will bring you through it and, and he'll, he'll help you. I like this next verse that tells us, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers thou shalt overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall a flame kindle upon thee, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, and thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. I thank the Lord for that. Amen. When I'm walking through the fire, he's there and the fire can't consume me. When I'm going through the, the river, the river can't overflow me. Yeah. The, the different things, this is something here, the Lord is our redeemer, amen? Yes. He's our redeemer. Yes. He will redeem us from the, the things of the enemy, how he would take and bring things to try to bring harm. How many knows that God can take the the bad things and turn it around for the good. Amen. We used to sing a song, I think, like that, Brother Paul, that, that God can take the, the bad and turn it around and bring good out of it. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful and I can experience that. I can I can uh, testify of the goodness of God. How it can take and he can turn bad, he can take something that's bad and bring good out of it. Amen. Amen. 
And we don't like to go through the hard times. How many likes to go through the hard times? No. We sign up for that, right? No. no, we want the easy times. We want the times where where there's there's blessing, there's times where there's goodness, there's times where there's there's just different things. You don't have to worry, you get up, you have the joy of the Lord on your your heart. You got the joy of the Lord and your strength, amen. And you're just there and you're focused upon the Lord and and you just got the victory. I love it when I have the victory, amen. I love it when I'm going through days, when I have weeks, and I'm just, I just have the victory. I can just serve God. I can serve him with all of this within me. And then all of a sudden, sometimes trouble comes your way. How many can understand that? Sometimes trouble comes knocking at your door. Sometimes trouble and fears come knocking at your door. And, and, and we hear things and we go through things that we, we go through. <coughs> Excuse me. That we go through. But I'm here to tell you that those things are not meant to overtake you. Amen. They're not meant to overtake you. They're not meant to overcome you. And my Lord is still in control. He's in control when, when things seem out of control. How many knows that? When things seem out of control, He is in control. Sometimes we have to go through the hard times, the storms of this life, in order to experience who God really is. Sometimes we have to go through the hard times in order to really know who our God is. Who, who are we going to put our trust in? Our, how is our trust going to grow and, and, and become stronger in the Lord if we never go through a hard time? Right. How many tells, uh, in uh, I think it's Psalms 34, he tells us that many are the afflictions yes. of the righteous. Yes. But the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. If you're going to serve Jesus, you're going to go through some problems. If you're going to serve Jesus, you're going to go through some troubles. You're going to go through some trials. Everything's not always going to be peachy and, 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 and just easy. And it's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. You know, if they told you that you come and you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that... That he'll come into your heart and your life and you'll just have the most wonderful life after that. They lied to you. Yep. They lied to you. Yep. Because I'm, I'm here to tell you that once you come to Jesus, you're going to start experiencing some troubles. Yep. That old devil's going to trouble you, isn't he? That old devil's going to try to get you back and snatch you out of the hand of God. But once you're in the hand of God, he can't snatch you out. Amen. Right, amen. You, can, you can have that confidence within him. The old devil, he'll try to work on you. He'll try to try to get you to, to have your peace and your your uh, try to get worry and, and despair in your life. How many's experienced that before? You know, we, we, we go through life's problems and troubles and trials and and sometimes it just seems to weigh us down. And I like Sister Christy. She spoke last week, I think, last, yes. last Sunday morning yes. about uh, the burden bearer, how God's our burden bearer. Yep. And he's there and he's, he's, he's meant to bear the burden for himself. Yep. You know, we can be there and just, it can be so light for us if we would just cast our burdens upon the Lord. But so many a times... We like to be in control, don't we? Yep. We like to be in control. We like to know how things is going to turn out, and we're going to try to make sure they turn out the way we think they should turn yep. out. So we go through life, and, and we expect, and, and, and sometimes we get ourselves in trouble, and we got to go through some troubles and some trials and trials of our faith. How many has ever had to go through some trials of your faith? Yep. Has your faith ever been tried? I'm here to tell you that as a believer, your faith is going to be tried. It's going to be tested. Our faith is going to be tried and tested. Yeah. But it's going to be tested and tried, and it's going to be true. Amen. Yeah. When, if you have your faith in the living God, wow, oh wow, it's going to be true. Amen. Your faith is not going to waver. How many knows we don't have to waver in our faith in God? Yeah. We don't have to waver in our faith in God. When I put my faith and my trust and confidence in man, then that's when I get myself in trouble. 
when I get myself in trouble, when I put my confidence in man and what man says and what man's, because oh, man can tell you how to get out of all these yeah, problems. Sure. Yeah. Uh, man's got it all figured out. He thinks he does. Well, sometimes it makes our, how many's ever made the problem worse than what it already was yeah. because you were trying to uh, take care of it in your own sight and you just made it a bigger problem than what it was. We've, We've never done that, have we? Have you ever been working on a project, gentlemen, and you just uh, decide I'm gonna speed things up a little bit and I'm gonna maybe cut some steps and, and maybe uh, I'll get ahead and uh, you get ahead and you try to get your ideas going and you skip some important, you skip some important steps in the process of whatever you're building or, or whatever it is, you got a lot of problems and troubles yes. that's gonna yes. come your way after that, amen. Yeah. So it's best to go go by the, the, the planning book and, and not take any shortcuts. Right. But how many knows that we don't like to suffer? We don't. We don't like to go through the problems. We want the problems to cease as, as, as soon as they start, amen. Yeah. Um, how many knows that there's there's times that there's there's storms that's, that just comes out of, upon us. There's times that trouble just comes upon us, doesn't yes. it? It just comes uh, unexpectedly, just like our sister here that's facing this health health battle in her, her body. It just came unexpectedly to her. And we're going to pray and trust the Lord that the yes. Lord's going to bring her through. Yes. Amen. He's a faithful God. Yes. Amen. Yes. I want to tell you that there's power in prayer. There's power in prayer. There's power in prayer. There's power in agreement in prayer. The word of God tells us where two or three shall agree, it shall be done. And yep. we can we can put our faith and our trust in the Lord. Um, I look back and I can look back at the at, at the psalmist David, and he was there. He he had many times that he was just excited in the Lord. And, yep. He was ready to praise God and he just had a praise upon his lips and then there was other times he was just all down and downcast. He was, he was distraught. Yep. How many's ever been there? Oh, my. We've, we've been there at times and, and points in time. And I read this uh, chapter here a few weeks ago but I'm going to read it again because I, I think it really encourages your faith and your trust in the walk of the Lord. How many knows that David had to encourage himself oh, in the yeah, Lord? Yeah. Sometimes we gotta encourage ourselves in the Lord, and we go through troubles and trials of our life, and we go, and if we're not careful, we're just focused upon the, the problem yes. and the trouble and the trial and the different things. And and I, I don't know about you, but this this past two years, I would not want to repeat it for you. Yeah. It it has just been a troubling two years for me. I yes. wouldn't want to repeat any part of it personally. That's just my my own opinion. Uh, but the Lord has brought me through some, some yes. tough times. He's brought me through some tough trials and some tough tough uh, trials. But we can take and we need to look to the Lord during those troubled times. Amen. Yes. That's what David does here in Psalms one and three. He tells us to bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. How many do we have to sometimes encourage ourselves to, to bless the Lord? Yeah. How many times do we have to encourage ourselves to come and I'm going to bless and I'm going to seek God? I'm going to, I'm going to reach out to him. If I can put my focus upon the living God and, and, and change my focus upon my circumstance yeah. and my problem and my situation, my oh my, the Lord will be able to do something. And your faith is going to increase. Amen. Yes. So I want to encourage you that when you're going through troubled times to get into the word of God. We need the word of God. Yes. How many knows in John 1.1, 1, 1, he tells us that he is the word. Yes. He is the living word. Yes. And we need Jesus, don't we? Yep. We got problems and troubles and trials in our faith. Then read the word of God. You're going to be reading about the Savior, amen? Yes. You're going to be close. You're, you're, you're going to be able to communicate with Jesus. This is one way Jesus communicates to us. This is one yeah. way God communicates to us is through his word. But if, 
if all we do is go through life's troubles and our seas and we don't know where to turn, I am not. We don't know where to turn. We don't know where to turn for help. We need to know where to turn in God's word for help during those times. Yep. He tells us to bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life with destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thou youth is renewed as eagles. Amen. That's a good word. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Um, he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious and slow to anger. He's plentious in mercy. And he will not always shine, neither will his, he keep his anger forever. For he hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Aren't you glad of that? Aren't you glad he didn't, he didn't take and, and, and give you what you really deserved? Amen. Because, uh, you know, sin, he bore our sins on the cross. Amen. And, and I thank the Lord that he took our sins and he took those things that are trespasses that, that we had that was before him. Um, he took all those. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is the mercy forced them to fear him. As far as the east is from the west, he hath removed our transgressions. That's a blessing, amen. Yeah. As far as the east is to the west. And the old devil, he'll tell you that the devil, uh, that God's not forgiven you of your sins. He'll try to keep you in condemnation. He'll try to keep you in bondage. He'll try to keep you captive. He'll try to keep you so that you're bound and you're not free. But we can have the freedom in Christ, amen. Because once I accept God and I, I confess my sins, he's faithful and he's just to forgive me of my sins. Amen. He's faithful and just. And if I for, it, and if I mess up down later down the road, he tells us that I have an advocate with the Father. Amen. amen. I can go to King Jesus. Amen. And he can plead my case. And he can take and, and he can make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. He can... He can take and he can clean me back up again, get me right back on the right path, and, and, and I'm headed down the right the right road. And, and that's where we need to be. Amen. Yes. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. He knoweth our frame and remembereth that we are dust. Yes. Did you ever have to maybe see that with the maybe you've had children of your own? And I'm learning this myself as I speak because I have a boy I'll tell him to go do something and um, he just doesn't really follow my directions that, that well. But I gotta remember that, you know, he's dust. And, and I remember a point in time where I probably drew my dad crazy, you know. That boy, I'd like to go put knots on his head, you know. I'm, I'm sure he, he had that more than anything. But we need to see, you know, our Heavenly Father. He's there and he remembers that our frame is dust. And he just doesn't take and just give up once and just just feel like, like that's it, buddy. You, you've done it now. There's no more. You've done cooked your goose, you know. He's not that way. No, he not. remembers who we are. And, and he remembers that we're, we're just all fallen man. I thank the Lord that he receives us every time that we we fall short. We can call out to the Lord and he's there. It doesn't matter if it's 50 times, if it's 500 times, if it's 1,000 times. Yep. He's there each and every time. He never rejects his children. Amen. 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 Um, now, that's not to say that we have a license to go out there and live like the world like we want to. Amen. So many live in that in that type of thinking and that thinking we can live and we can go and have a good time in this world. You know, that's not scriptural. That's not scriptural. We're, we're to live as he lives. Amen. Yeah. We're to be holy as he is holy. He tells us to come out from among them and be ye separate. 
thus saith the Lord. Yeah. And we're the, we're the live as a separate people uh, unto, unto a holy and just God. Amen. Yeah. As for man, the days of, his, of the grass as the flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passeth over it, and it's gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord from everlasting to everlasting unto them, tear him this righteous unto children's children. To such as he keeps his covenant to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in, in the heavens and the kingdoms rule over all. Bless the Lord ye, ye his angels and excel in his strength and do commandments and hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, and that do pleasure. Bless the Lord, all the works of the places of the dominion. Bless the Lord, O my That's soul. Good. That's good. And David, he had to encourage himself Amen. consistently throughout the word of God. He was consistently, he was consistently down. He, he had to consistently, he was consistently down and fighting depression and anxiety and all kinds of different things yep. and uh, of course there was people that was out without trying to kill him you know so he, he has a legit um, thing at, at, at points in times but he ought to know who his God is yes. and, uh, and and 102 he tells us here my prayer O Lord and let my cry come unto thee hide not thy face from me in the day when I'm in trouble Incline on ear unto me, and in thy day when I call, answer me speedily. And that's just, that's how, that's how we are sometimes, yeah. isn't it? We want the Lord to answer us speedily. Yeah. We want the Lord to hear our cries. Amen. And the yeah. Lord hears, a, oh, yeah. hears uh, the cries of the righteous. Amen. I want to go to Psalms, uh, Psalms 34. I will bless the Lord at all yeah. times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he delivered me from my fears. Aren't you glad he delivered you from your fears? Amen. Um, they looked upon him, and they were lightened, and their faces were ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord saved him out of all his troubles. Has the Lord saved you out of some troubles? Oh, yeah. Amen. He saved me out of some troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. I'll tell you what, my angel, he's, he's a special angel because yeah. he's, he's got an important job. and he's, he, he's saved me out of how many times, you know. Oh, I think the Lord, he gave me a, a special guardian angel, you know. He's just there watching over me. It doesn't matter. I've Went through some rough times in life, but he's always there and he always brings me through. Uh, I thank the Lord for that. Amen. Yes. I'm, I'm, I thank the Lord that he sends us heavenly hosts to help us on this earth. Amen. Yes. Because if you, maybe if you walked in my footsteps a couple times, you would understand what I'm saying. But, um, you know, those that know me well, you know, know that I'm sometimes accident prone. But, uh, but the Lord, the Lord helps me. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. He says, "Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, and blessed is the man that trusteth in Him." Oh, fear the Lord, ye His saints, for there is no one that that fear Him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you to fear the Lord. That is something that we need to hear yeah. again. Amen. We need to hear and we need to teach our children about the fear of the Lord. We need to teach our children. We need to teach these, this next generation that's coming up about the fear of the Lord. There's a lack of the fear of God. There's a lack of the fear of God within the, within the house of God today. There's a lack of the fear of God within the house of God. We can live however we want to live. And it's okay. See, that's how it's being taught now. But that's not true. If we have true honor and, and, and we have a true fear of God, we're going to live according to a, a different standard of living. Amen. We're not going to live according to man's standard of living, according to my standard of living, how I want to live, how, 
how I want to um, take and, 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 and feel good and go through life and, and I don't have to have to worry about things um, just convicting me. You know, that's how a lot of people live. They, they live in bondage and, and they're, they're not caught right. That is wrong. We're to live as unto the Lord. Yeah. We're to live in the fear of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Young lions do lack and suffer long hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. For what man is that the desire of life and love of many days that thou shalt do good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil, do good, seek peace, and pursue it. That's ought to be something yeah. that, that ought to be upon our agenda yeah. each and every day. Keep thy tongue from speaking evil, thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil. Yes. Depart from evil. Do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open upon their cry. How many knows he can hear the cry of the righteous? Amen. Amen. He can hear the cry of the righteous. Yes. When we're out and we're going through battles and storms and trials and they just seem to come upon us. You know, just like they were there in that ship that day and the, the tempest just comes up. Yeah. The storm just arises. How many knows that sometimes there's a storm that arises down yeah. inside of each and every one of us? And it's just, just so unsettling. The face of the Lord is against him that do evil to cut, cut off the remembrance of them on the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Yes. Not just some of them, but out of them all. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such of a contrite spirit. Yes. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Wouldn't it be nice that I could just serve God and I didn't have to worry about ever being afflicted and not have to go through problems and troubles and trials? But it happens, doesn't it? It does. It happens. And uh, God's promise says he will never let us be destroyed for he walks with us. Amen. He walks with us. He's going to go through the battle with us. Amen. Yeah. He's not going to just let you go on your own, but he's going to go with you. And um, storms make us more Christ-like yeah. when we lay aside our will for God's will. Yeah. Storms make us make ourselves more Christ-like when we lay us, yeah. our sides or our, our side. Or our will for God's will. Yes. Amen. Amen. And, um, pressures of the life can bring the best and the worst in us. Yep. And who has the who has the, the control? That's right. Um, the Lord was showing me some different things that how many knows that storms are just temporary? They are. They're temporary. They're here. I remember of a scripture where it tells us that weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I have to really stand on that scripture. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. You might be going through a hard time, a hardship, a hard, a, a hard time in your life right now. And there might be just different things that you're facing. The Lord sees those storms. The Lord sees those storms that you're going through. He sees his storms, but they're temporary. There's going to be joy that cometh in the morning. Amen. There's going to be joy. There's going to be an end to that storm. You know, there's going to be an end to the storm. You know? see, you can look a little further and know that that storm is going to end. Um, all the sadness, the fear, the worry, the, uh, the different things that come along with that is going to be gone. There's going to be happiness. There's going to be joy. There's going to be rejoicing there's going to be gladness that we're going to go through yes. um, but we're not to remain there in the midst of that presence and that storm at all times and sometimes have you ever been through a storm and it just seems like it's been unending it just will not end it, it just keeps going on and on and on and you wonder and you're just drained down that's when we really got to fully rely upon the Lord yes. 
That's when we've got to cast our burdens and, and we put them upon the Lord and the Lord will, will bear our burdens. He's our burden bearer. Amen. Yes. He will take and, and bring a way. He'll make a way where there seems to be no way. Have you ever had to pray and ask God to make a way where there seems to be no way? God, I just don't, there's no way out. I've tried everything. Maybe he's, he's let you try everything just so that you can put, finally put your trust in him. And he'll bring you out in a way that you never even thought was possible. You know, he can move mountains. Um, and we just got to put our trust Amen. and our faith in the living God. Yes. Amen. Um, how many knows that sometimes storms just go through our lives and it's just a time, of, it's a season and it's a place that we're yep. in. I tell you, there's there's been some long seasons. I'm, I'm one, I'm not really... I, I really dread the fall. I, I really, I'm not a fall person. That's just me because I know what's coming afterwards. Winter. Winter, and I don't like winter. Okay, that's just me personally. But it's a season, but a, as you dread that, you know, it just it just seems like it, it lasts forever. And it lasts forever, and it just dreads on and goes on and goes on. You know, there's times in our lives that we're going through battles and storms and seasons of our lives and we think this season's never going to end. Right. But the Lord will take us and he'll bring us through that season yeah. and he'll bring you in the new seasons. Amen. Yep. And there's going to be a purpose for the season that you go through. Yeah. You know, sometimes storms come along and they bring a lot of devastation that comes with it, don't they? Yep. How many remembers the, the hell storm we had here a few few years ago and it just it just kind of uh it destroyed everything everybody got new roofs and, and uh their homes was destroyed their cars was destroyed there was destruction that was brought forth but god did a lot of good even though there's a lot of bad that happened he brought a lot of good out of that and and Amen. thankful some people i i know some people it, it was a blessing for me and uh I, I got to look about it, and I, I think, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to put a roof in my house, you know, with the finances and everything. Yeah. And the Lord prepared that. I don't know if he prepared that storm or allowed that storm to come, but uh, I was able to get my roof replaced through, through the insurance. So he met my need. He supplied my need. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so sometimes bad things that happen in storms, may bring something good out of it later down the road. Yes. And we just have to take and, and look. But when we're in the middle of the storm, we look at the fiercest part, don't we? Yes. We, look at, we look at what's happening, the worst, what's hitting us the hardest, what's, what's making us so that we've, we've lost our peace, we've lost our, path, our happiness, we've lost our, our, um, our contentment with the Lord, then what happens when we have those things? There's times that we go and we go and we go and we try to find something that's going to comfort our hearts. Yep. We try to go find something that's going to comfort our hearts. So we'll go, ladies. I'm going to put you out there here. Ladies, we'll go shopping and go spend some money. And, and that'll make us feel nice and good. We'll go put that on the credit card and then Months later, we get the bills for it. You know, sometimes we just we just want to go feel nice and get maybe we'll go get pampered and all that good stuff. You know, us guys will we'll go through things as well, and, and we'll go and sometimes the old devil he'll take and bring temptations before yeah. you, things that he set you free from years ago. And he'll try to bring those temptations up. Uh, you ought to just go get you something cold to drink, you know. And I, I know it's the devil, you know, because I've never, it, it's only by the grace of God. Yes. I have never had a drop of alcoholic beverage in my Praise life. And that's a blessing. Amen. That's a testimony from the, from the true and the living God. So I'm here to tell you that you can live righteous. Yes. You can live holy. Amen. You can live that righteous life. But the old devil, he's like there. He's like, you ought to just stop there one day after work and just go and get you a cold one. 
you, you don't even know what that's like. And I'm like, I rebuke you, devil, you know? But he's there, he's trying to trip you up. Right. How many knows that the devil will try to trip you yeah. up? When you're going through life and, and, and you're battling the, the hard times and the hardships of this life, he'll try to get you to go back and past things that the Lord has set you free of. He set you free of bondages and then he tries to get you bound again. Yeah. He tries to get you, maybe maybe you used to smoke and then he, he gets you back into that habit where, where, where you start smoking again. That's not the answer to the no, problem. It's not. No, it's not. That's not the answer to the problem. Amen. Right. The answer to the problem is the King of Kings. Yeah. Yeah. The answer to the problem is King Jesus. Jesus. We can call out upon yeah. him. He can give us that peace that passes all understanding. That peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, when we feel isolated, alone, scared, how many's ever felt numb? You're just there, you're, you're, you're numb. You just feel like you're all alone. You're, you're just going through this life and and there's just no button. Nobody just has a care. You're, you're just there, and you got that burden upon you. The Lord will be there. I'm here to give you a, a word of hope tonight. If that's just a season that you're in, that's a season. That's a season the Lord will bring you through. He'll bring you victorious through it. Yes. Weeping may endure for a night, that's right. but joy the comes, comes in, in the morning. morning. Yeah. Amen. Amen. How many knows we wouldn't vote for these storms in our lives? <laughs> no, we wouldn't. I would. Tommy would decide. Yeah, sign me up. Sign me up. I want storms all next week. Not me. I want storms where my faith's going to be tested, and I'm going to be tried, and I'm going to really, I'm really going to have to, to get down on my hands and knees, and I'm going to have to pray out to my God because I think I'm going to lose my mind. Have you ever had some some times where you think you're going to lose your mind, and you wonder where God is? God, have you forgotten me? Have you forsought me? Have you for, uh, forsaken me? No, he hasn't forsaken me. But sometimes he allows those times to come into our hearts and our lives and allows us to get our attention and our focus. And our focus gets upon him. It gets upon him during those times. Um, we all have spiritual storms that we go through. Uh, we're fighting spiritual battles. You know, the enemy is there. He's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. That is his plan and his purpose for each and every one of us. To steal, to kill, and destroy. And if he can bring a storm in your life to try to get you, to get your mind and your, your centered off of the things of God, and you get your mind upon something else, then he'll try to do that. And he'll try to bring another thing where you... Get your focus on something else to, in order to get your your calmness and, and your answer to the problem. But how many knows that Jesus is the yep. answer Amen. to our storms? Amen. 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 I'm going to finish up here. I won't be very much longer. Uh, but so many times we get our eyes upon our circumstances and our situations. And all that does is bring doubt, worry, Fear. And, uh, and God doesn't want us to That's live right. there. God doesn't want us to live there, you know. We're, we're to be rooted and grounded That's in the right. Word. Amen. So we need the living Word so yep. that we can go through and, and face the things of this life. Yes. Amen. And you'll look back, and I'm not going to go here, I don't think. But if you go back to Psalms chapter 60, 61, 62. 63, that's where David was. There was different times in his life that he just he just sought the Lord. And uh, he says, he says in Psalm 61, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth, will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock yeah. that is higher than thou. Lead me to the rock. We sing that song. Yeah. That's scripture. Yeah. We sing that song. He's our rock. He's our fortress. He's the one that we can stand in. He's the one that we can put our trust in. Uh, in Psalms 102, he says, Thou soul waiteth upon thee, O God, for thou cometh my salvation. 
He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense, and I shall not be greatly moved. Uh, you know, this is the Lord. And, and, and David here in Psalms 30, 63, he has a relationship with the Lord. And he says, O oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there's no water. To see thy power and thy glory as I have seen in thy sanctuary. Because of thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands in the Lord. In thy name my soul shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. And here is where David has a relationship. When I meditate thee upon the dead. And meditate upon thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But thou that seek my soul to destroy it. Shall go into the lower parts of the earth. Thou shalt fall by the sword. And thou shalt be a portion for the foxes. For the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth of him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. That's good. That's good. Amen. And David is just here throughout. He's encouraging and he's looking at different things. And then uh, let's go to one other place before we, we close. And we'll close with this scripture here. Okay. Psalms 91. Okay. Psalms 91. You know, there's... There's a point in time, there's there's times that I've gone through some troubled times and I've started quoting Psalms 91. There was one time I was, this is a little little funny, but I was getting a root canal and you know, it was not a good experience. And I, I'm here and I'm like calling out to the Lord and I'm looking to him and I'm just thinking of, and trying to quote Psalms 91 to get through that thing. That was just a horrible, horrible experience. But the Lord brought me through it. Uh, but he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High yes. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noxious pestilence. How many knows that we can put COVID in there? Yep. Amen. He'll deliver us from COVID. He shall cover thee with his lips, uh, with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt thou trust. His trust, his truth shall be thy shield and thy butler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor by the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that waiteth at, at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh unto thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made me Lord, which is my refuge, and even the Most High thy habitation. Thou shalt no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh unto thy dwelling. I stand on that yeah. verse there. Uh, even in during the plagues that we face, I stand on the word of Almighty God. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou shalt bear the, the, thy hands, and thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. With long life will I satisfy and will show him my salvation. May, may God bless us with his word today. Uh, but we don't have to waver in our faith and our trust in the Lord. Amen. He'll bring us through whatever storm he brings in your life. He'll bring the way out of that storm. And it's not meant to, to bring total destruction. And sometimes it, it looks and it appears that way. But the Lord will take and bring us through so that we can have a life that's a flourishing. In Psalms 1, he tells us that 
We shall be as the trees that's planted by the living water. And we shall flourish. And we should be strong. And we're rooted and grounded. We're rooted and grounded. And I, I got thinking about the trees. You know, Doug, you probably go out on your farm and pastor. You probably walk the farm and you have some pretty big trees, I would imagine, out on your farm. Maybe you've been there quite some time and you've seen that tree grow from something little to something big and it's gigantic. And that tree has weathered several different storms, hasn't it? That tree, those trees have weathered several different storms. And uh, just as those trees weather the storms, we can weather the storms in Jesus. And, yes. and we can be strong Amen. in the Lord and uh, we can bear fruit even in the, old, in the old ages, we can still bear fruit. And That's good. We thank the Lord for that. Yes. I thank the Lord for his word. And yes. How his word's true. And it's, it's, it's just there. As you're going through a, a storm of your life and your life and your faith is being tested, please know that you're not alone. But the Lord is there and he'll meet your needs. He'll supply your needs. He'll be there. And I'm going to just pray with you today and as the team comes back here. Uh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you, Lord, for those that are here that, Lord, they may be having some inward storms down within their lives, Lord, and they just, uh, it seems like the peace that, that they have, it's just, they, they can't find it, Lord, but you're there, and Lord, you're, you're there in the midst of the storm. So, Lord, help them, Lord, to look to you, Lord, during these times. To call out to you, Lord, and you'll supply their every need. You'll meet their need. You'll take, Lord, their, their weariness. You'll take away the things that trouble their hearts. And you'll bring peace to them. And we speak peace to these storms. In the name of Jesus, peace be still. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you. If you need prayer, uh, the altars are open. We'd love to pray with you. And uh, we'll turn it over to the rest of the service there.